X Sheet Metal is a focused application tailored for the sheet metal press break approach. This app runs on the 3D Experience platform, so we'll log in and get started. Though X Sheet Metal has focus specific design goals, you can insert many file types as reference data. Here we'll use my rocket design that originated in SOLIDWORKS Desktop. Just going to use the triad to position it relatively close to the origin. There's really no need for perfection at this stage. Now then, we'll begin by using familiar feeling sketch tools to mock up the concept and apply some relations. It may surprise you that the X apps have some functionality that's even cooler than what you're used to. How about simply selecting a sketch entity and a dimension appears? Then if you click the value, it both enters the number and adds the dimension. If you control pick two non-parallel entities, it reveals an angle dimension. That's pretty slick. X Sheet Metal adds a sheet metal tool set to the same UI you would see in X Shape or X Design. Let's begin with an extruded sheet metal base. Filling in the parameters and design intent is pretty straightforward. Now let's use a chamfer to knock off the sharp corner. The on-screen interaction is quite nice as well. One advantage for sheet metal designers is they don't have to sift through everything CAD tool sets to find what they need. X Sheet Metal's S key shortcut menu and pop-up menu anticipate your needs and give you quick access to sheet metal tools with simple selections of an edge. There's a couple types of flanges. The first is an actual flange that will use a tangent bend radius from the selected edge. The wall on edge will create the necessary relief depending on your values and settings. Again, the user experience here is excellent. Of course, you can combine features created in 3D with folds created from the flat. Now we'll take some weight out by using a sheet metal cutout feature. This tool references the wall thickness as well. I try to do half the work whenever possible. So a final mirror of the body and we have a finished flat pattern of our design. A simple click on the flat pattern and you can export the data to 2D DXF and send it to the cutter of your choice. I'm pretty satisfied with what I have going, so I'm going to do a quick markup using 3D Play. And then send a message to the rest of my team in the swim community to show them my progress. To learn more about the 3D Experience platform, visit our website, goengineer.com, and check us out on YouTube at 3D Experience Tutorials. I'm Darren at Go Engineer. Thanks for watching.